Welcome to the Stanish Library. In this informational video, you'll learn all about the services provided here. To help you along, Meg, Kirian, and me, Mitch, will guide you. Let's get started! The library hours are Monday through Thursday, 8 a.m. to 1 a.m., Friday, 8 a.m. to 11 p.m., Saturday, 9 a.m. to 11 p.m., and Sunday, 11 a.m. to 1 a.m. Special hours are posted on the library website. The three floors of the building are the lower level, the first floor, and the second floor. Books with the call number A through PM are located on the second floor. These books focus on topics including religion, history, social sciences, education, music, art, and oversized books. Books with the call number PN through PT are located on the first floor. These books focus on literature. Finally, books with the call numbers Q through Z are located on the lower level. These books focus on topics including science and military science. The reference section is on the first floor to the right. Books about specific studies can be found here. The books here cannot be taken out of the library. On the lower and second floor, some books can only be accessed by moving a bookshelf. To do so, first make sure that the aisle is clear. Then, push the large button and turn the crank in the direction that you wish to go. When you've finished, don't forget to lock the bookshelf with a smaller button. Make sure not to bang bookshelves together and to not move them too fast as this may dislodge the books that are on the shelves. On all three floors, there are study carrels where you can study in privacy. Most are equipped with an ethernet port and an electrical socket along with lights. On the second floor are the silent reading sections. Here, your fellow students request that you do not talk to friends so that they can concentrate on their work. Bathrooms are located to the right on all floors. It is requested that you talk on your cell phone only in here. On each floor to your left is going to be an elevator. This will allow you to go up to all three floors. The first floor houses magazine collections, along with a large selection of CDs. You can even find CDs here by popular artists. On the lower floor, you will find DVDs that can be loaned out. Dark media rooms are also provided on the lower floor for the viewing of movies. You can print off any papers that you want on a computer connected to a printer. If you're having trouble with this, ask a librarian at the reference desk for help. Papers will come out double-sided in order to save paper. The Writing Center has offices at the library on the lower floor. This is handy for getting help on those tough papers. For a small fee, copiers on the lower and first floor can be used. You can use either your SIM card or cash to pay. Many computer programs are available for use on most computers, including PowerPoint and Word. Also, the library will let you borrow a netbook for three hours at a time within the library. If you need a book that we don't have, the library offers different resources to help you. One is interlibrary loan. Accessed through an Iliad account, ILL can order books from around the world. They also might send you some articles as PDFs. Another resource is Connect New York, which allows you to access books through participating New York colleges. Use Connect New York when a book isn't available at the Siena Library. First, go to the library website, click the Sierra link, and type in a title or keyword. If nothing matches your search in the database, click the Connect New York logo. Enter your name and same card barcode when prompted. You'll be notified when the item is available for pickup. Oh, yes, can I see your same card? Sometimes professors put books in reserve for their classes. To access these books, go to the circulation desk. You are allowed to check out these books for two hours and they cannot leave the library. Thank you. You're welcome. Connected to the library is the computer lab, which is open 24-7. Run by ITS, the computer lab offers internet access, computer programs, and printers. All you need is your Sienna ID to get into the computer lab. Here are a couple of tips about other things around the library. The group study rooms located on the second floor are a great quiet place to study. The rules for the rooms are posted on the outside of each. Another tip is to register your SAINT card at the library. 
this is the only way that you will be able to check out books from the library. Lastly, the main floor is also considered the social floor. Here, you can meet up with other group members for projects and feel free to talk. Thank you for watching this informational video. Hopefully it has helped you learn about the library. If you have any questions, the library staff would be happy to help you. So long!